Hi guys, it's a beautiful day once again and welcome back to Dexter's World Channel. I'm enjoying the holiday season and I really have the luxury of time uh, doing improvements here in the farm and our mega project for 2024 would be our goat farming. You know, this goat farming is also one of the good businesses that we can engage because they are not that high maintenance. They are, you know, herbivores. They're just fed on grasses. You can see here, we have vast of grasses and I will take advantage of the food resources and we will start. This is gonna be the start. So as you can see over there, this is an area intended for our goats. But we have a problem because it's really filled with grasses. So my intention today is actually to go over there. Actually, that's a swampy area. And we will pass through deep waters, of course, the knee level. And then as soon as we get there with my sheath and this uh, wood, we will clean that surroundings and we're gonna start next year our goat house. So come on, let's go and we will proceed. So guys, I put some wood here for us to step on it because, you know, this is uh, very deep actually, more than above knee level. So we will pass through here. See that? I put a wood right here and then see so we're riding on the grasses now I have some wood right here oh ah, water is really deep oh See, this is the challenge that we will face for 2024. How are we going to clean this surroundings? You know, this is actually a good source of food for our goats, but we have to cut this off because this is a permanent plan already to erect here the goat house. And the goat house would be something to accommodate more than 10 or 20, just uh, a few number of goats to start with. And you will see that we will not run short of our, our food because there are many food right here. Vast of area that's filled with goat food, grasses. So I'm very excited to um, finish this before this year ends, of course. And then by next year, we will embark another project. And I'm so excited about the goats. Actually, we already have tried goat racing before in the whole farm and we were able to produce actually dozens of goats there and in fact these goats are the big ones but I just decided to temporarily stop it because of the development I mean ongoing development that the property is going to be used for public purpose for airport purposes to be exact
So this is my routine every morning. Since this is very near to the house, I can just spend two or three hours every morning just to perspire. And this is a good source also of uh, fat burning activity. We can burn fats here. We will perspire. We don't need to go to the gym anymore. And we will devote our time here doing some activities in order for us to perspire. And this is what makes life beautiful. To be able to do things at the same time you're saving your money and you are investing your time and energy. So guys we will take a rest and the next activity would be to cut some grasses for the nest baskets of our chickens. I must tell you that we have produced a lot in our native chicken farming. I cannot wait to dry this grasses here. I supposed to have dried it first before I gonna put this inside the nest baskets, but I lack uh, material time. Anyway, this will quickly dry inside. So the idea here is to just put a nest for our chickens like that. And then the moment this dries up, this will help the mamas, the chickens, hatch their eggs. So we will put that here. I can sense a lot of chickens that will be produced in this farm. Some chickens really need to have human intervention. Imagine, I already have provided them with the nest boxes, but they still wanted to lay eggs outside. This has just been laid and I don't know what's in the mind of this hen, that instead of putting her egg inside the nest box, she decided to put the, the egg outside of the nest box. But even then, that's farming. We have to really monitor, constantly monitor, of course, because they are not humans, they have their own instinct, we don't know. But what we can do is just to, you know, monitor and provide them with this kind of nest box. Maybe because of the environment, we do not know. But I'm sure that as soon as this is gonna dry up, this will really be liked by them. Oh, you see, I can hear chirpings of the new, newly hatched chicks here. And I'm so happy and contented with the kind of system that we have here adopted. And I would like to see if we can already get the chicks out of the nest. Oh, this is not good. It was trampled upon by the mom. Six, seven. These are plenty. And there is one here that's about to come out. So I decided to just leave the chicks and we will get them 
maybe tomorrow morning because we cannot prematurely get this because there are still unhatched eggs. Actually, this is already half of the total eggs that uh, she's incubating. We can count here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is the mortality, of course, we cannot really perfect. But I'm still hoping that we can hatch eight more chicks. The last time we were able to hatch 18 in just one hand, we were able to hatch 18. So that's a good sign already that the natural food that we're giving, this azola, this moringa, even this water spinach, and this uh, grated coconuts, and some rice, and you know, corn bran. These are the things that we're doing, and it's all natural. It's all natural, organic food. So we will put this back. I think this is not yet safe to get them out from the nest baskets. And we will not also do this late, very late, because if the, the chicks are already very active, there's a tendency that they will jump out of the nest basket. So this is actually time management. We have to manage really. If we wanted to you know, have a natural production of chicken, then we will not use our incubator, but we have to really be conscious about the time and even the monitoring of the development of the nest baskets. We are actually trying to have our own water system here because though this is a low-lying area, this is area filled with water, but we have to also make our own water system for human use, human consumption. And what we're doing here is we're digging actually a deep well and we already have dug more than 20 feet. And this gives us more um, hope that by adding more 10 feet or 20 feet, make a total of 40 feet, we can already get the water that's uh, potable. And I'm just hoping that this will happen because we are trying to foresee that in the future we can open this facility to the public and the public really needs you know water and you know for the toilet so we can also do some business about water refilling station that's an ambition that's to keep mind busy and to keep our hearts positive about things so these are the updates that we can share with you so far I hope that you will continue to like and share our videos as we have to project another mega projects. We actually would like to engage you and we would like to have your support, of course, because for the year 2023, we've been through a lot of experiences. We had this flood, we have everything, bad and good experiences. And some of you are still there. Some of you are uh, actually constantly you know backing us up and giving us some hope some inspiration and I would like to really thank you for that and if this is your first time to stumble upon the channel may I humbly ask you to please subscribe and hit the notification bell because we are uploading very informative practical and challenging videos so see you in the next video only here at Dexter's World